Hey folks, Rocker S with you, and uh, <coughs> to continue on for where we were, where this morning, I think it was this morning anyway. Uh, we're going to go back into Minecraft now. I took off the uh, the portal uh, skin uh, just to kind of show you what we were doing. Now I kind of played a bit offline, so we're going to go straight back into it. So, <clears throat> as you'll see here, we've done, well, I've done a little bit just while we were away. Uh, I'm actually going to show you, now that I've actually got some, I'm going to show you what uh, bone meal can do. Uh, you get bone meal from the likes of uh, skeletons, so what you do is we're just using a stone hoe for our farm here. And we're going to go into our inventory and we've got uh, 16 seeds. So, as you can see here, we've got our bone meal and we also got 13 bits of wheat. So, that was, that was quite a good haul. So, if you right click with the hoe on dart, it makes this kind of farmland. So, we're going to right click on it with our seeds and that's going to plant them. Now normally it would be a waiting process to kind of get these to grow. And now sorry my attention was just distracted there. There's at least two creepers over there. And by the looks of it a skeleton so we'll have to be very careful here. Uh, but yeah if you take <coughs> your bone meal and you right click on it it instantly grows the wheat so uh, I won't use it all I'll just show you on a couple bits just now uh, because we're actually going to want to use this on some trees so as you can see there's our wheat fully grown and you just chop it down and you'll get wheat and you'll get seeds so uh, we'll just plant the rest of the seeds here just now so that'll be us now I'm actually now as you can see our sugar cane is growing quite well uh, and you will notice this difference here this is a uh, trees that I planted just along the back there and that's going to be our, again I just used bone meal again and it grew up to this size. So I was thinking of what we could do with such a space. Now if I remember right there's, yep as you can see we actually have a enderman in our base right now so I'm really not looking forward to going in there. So. What we're going to do is, just while he does his thing, we're going to go chop some uh, trees down. <clears throat> because I, d I was honestly thinking of what I could build, uh, or where I could start building anyway. And while looking around the caves, I found that there was quite a lot of iron and coal still to be mined. And I also found uh, obsidian which will help us get the to the nether the nether realm so uh, I thought if we make a base up here like up in the trees it means then that we won't be as vulnerable to the likes of endermen attacks <coughs> <coughs> or even the, the creeper attack that we suffered as well uh, also see some zombies wandering about so we'll have to be really careful there so uh, we're gonna put all this aside just now and keep an eye on our wood because what we're gonna do is we're gonna build a ladder along maybe this side of our base as I said this was gonna be our base anyway and I still haven't found any sheep or anything, so that's that's a bit disappointing. Uh, but 
but until then we can't really make a bed <coughs> now the bed is only really if you just kind of want to sleep at night there's not really in minecraft it's okay it passes the time and makes you safer from mobs well the the more hostile mobs anyway but i prefer just kind of working through to, especially if you're building something that you're really interested in it's always better just to kind of continue to work on it so now we don't have to actually worry about the leaves because the top block is often considered the source block so if you destroy the source block all the leaves will just kind of wither uh, <coughs> and disappear sorry folks I'm, uh, I've actually got quite a uh, a scratchy throat so that's that's maybe the reason I'm sounding a bit weird but <coughs> yeah uh, if we destroy the source block the leaves will eventually start disappearing and drop more sapling that we can use now I think I think that's plenty just now now we're gonna need one, two, three, four, five ladders just to get up there. Now, we really can't afford to look at the Enderman uh, because you saw what happened to us the last time we've done that. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put them in there and we're going to separate these into sticks. I think 40 sticks should be okay. So we're just going to make a kind of a capital H shape. So we're going to do two of them just now. That'll make six ladders. Uh, and then hopefully we should be able to start building at least and just keep this bit open just for like a, a mine so yeah so we've got a ladder here and just while it's equipped you just right click uh, and then then you can climb up now I quite like where this is actually setting so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take away most of the bush up here we're also going to chop down some more tree just in case we need a bit more planks because I'm uh, going to make it out of wooden planks and give it a real treehouse effect so we're going to need pretty much all of this cleared <coughs> uh, also this if we make it just right will give us a, a really good outlook post so I'm really looking forward to actually start building this. I don't know if we will get it all built in this video. I, whoa, okay. So there will still be gaps. So we need to go down and get some wood. Now again, we really can't look at the Enderman because he's right to our left, uh, right I think it is. So we really have to be careful. So we've just received... 128 plus uh, my math is terrible we've received over 128 bits of wooden planks anyway that should be more than enough to kind of get started we can add in some glass windows uh, so what we're actually going to do is we're going to uh, let me think. Yeah, we're going to start over this end. Uh, and we're going to take just our wooden blocks. And I don't know why it keeps doing that. Uh, it's okay though, it's not disastrous. So, we're going to make just a, just a little hideout just now. Nothing too fancy. Uh, just a kind of basic, uh, no, I don't actually like, oh, come on. The shift button wasn't held down, that's how I fell, so. Uh, yeah, we don't want to make anything too fancy. Uh, 
think I'll do the floor, the wood as well, so then... What is going on here today? It keeps planting another one in its place. Uh, I'm sorry folks, it's, uh, we will try and persevere, but... <coughs> uh, there we go, now we're starting I think, yep. So we can just start kind of taking out some of the grass, or the hedges even, uh, and start kind of building our base for our tree house. So, if we take away this block and then put a bit of wood in there, we could add a, like a door here. Uh, yeah, that's what we might do actually. We might build a door. Because <coughs> I, like, I would like to keep kind of one of the main tree pillars in, just for effect really. Uh, you just can do it however you please. Now as you can see if we put a window like round the corner here uh, you would get to see quite a fair bit of the world out there and then you would know when it's sort of safe so it's always a good idea. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to continue along here, I don't really want to make it too big, I might end up just doing that because I've been known to go big, uh, a little treehouse project before turned into like a week long just chaos thing. Now I have maintained my promise, no animals have died and for those wondering where Janet is because she was meant to be protecting the the base. She's actually took, uh, she's actually went down uh, underground. I found her just kind of rolling about there. So we hope she's still safe down there. Uh, we will check on her before we leave. Uh, see what I mean? This keeps doing that. I don't know why. Uh, so even if we build a kind of, a, just a solid kind of base with the door there, <coughs> uh, this is a, this would be a really good idea for a tree house, if that's what you wanted to build, I mean I'm not saying that you have to build a tree house, I'm just saying it's always an idea to kind of, I found anyway to be out of the way of the mobs come night time especially if you're playing it on a like a, a normal difficulty or even harder really it's always wise to kind of keep that keep a base where you know that they won't actually get to you now even if a creeper came and kind of blew up the the base like uh, the kind of main tower, the treehouse wouldn't fall so you would be safe. It would just mean you would have to do a bit more rebuilding, uh, but that's the idea behind this game. So it really wouldn't be disastrous. So what we're going to do is we're going to build it just one more along here, I think that's plenty. Uh, yeah, I think that would be plenty. So, we're going to get rid of this and we're going to start building where our little walls are going to go. Now, do I have a bit of dirt? I do, actually. What I'm actually going to do is, for, <coughs> for my own personal like, as it were, I'm actually going to make a tree with another ladder going up to a room where we'll keep all our chests. Uh, just personally think that would look pretty cool. So 
we're going to plant a little tree there. We're going to clear some of the leaves because we're going to have to get up there anyway. <coughs> and I'll be able to show you what the bone meal does to the, the tree. Now normally it could take the tree quite a while to actually grow. This technique instantly grows it and gives you the effect that we've received right here with where we are. Uh, so we're just going to clear as much as we can around it and we're going to uh, look for a bone meal again. Uh, there we go. And so we're just going to instantly grow it and again as you see there it's connected into the other tree. It's, uh, we can definitely make another ladder, we only need kind of, well how many bits, we would only really need uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 bits again really, so, uh, so that's actually going to be really helpful and if we build just along here, no, not over there. I don't know why it does that. It's really, really strange. So, what we're actually going to have to do is we're going to have to plant one just there and make it one more than we thought we were actually going to have to. Now, I'm going to have to end this video here shortly folks because I, di I do realise that I kind of went over on the last video by like another video time so uh, so we're just going to quickly get this up at least the basis anyway and then we're going to quickly go check on Janet because if I don't people will get mad at me and I don't want people to get mad at me so <laughs> Uh, as you can see, this is just where we're going to kind of keep our crafting table up here. <coughs> our, uh, our, what's it called? Furnace, that's what, that's what I was thinking. Come on man, you need to wake up a bit. Uh, yeah, so we're going to keep our, like our crafting table, our furnace and everything down here. Then we're going to go up and we're going to keep. Uh, specific chests for specific items that we'll find or mine so we're gonna go down the ladder I just fell down them now as I said we do have to really be careful because the the enderman is still right there so what we're gonna quickly do is we're gonna create a door now to do that you just put six wooden planks in a row on the left hand side and that gives us our wooden door and if we go in here and get sand we can uh, put the sand in <coughs> and that will start to make a, a glass block for us which we can then turn into uh, just regular glass so like window, pl uh, window panes so once we plant a store and quickly go check on Janet. So as you can see, you just right click on the door to open it. If you added a lever or a button, it would automatically close. So let's quickly go check on Janet. Now, I think, I don't know quite how it works. I just know that if you've got a bit of wheat in your hand, you can possibly tempt the animals to come back with you. I know some people have animal farms and everything. So just hope the Enderman is not too close. <laughs> he maybe went away because we set the, the furnace alight. So Janet was here. I don't know where she went to. She actually followed me all the way over here, so... Uh, 
okay, so she's still not here. She's maybe moved her way along here. Uh, okay, still don't see her. Ah, no, zombies, no. Uh, right, let's go, come on. Uh, she maybe actually got out because I know I made a pathway to get out, so she's maybe just kind of decided to leave. Uh, I hope she has anyway. That's one zombie down and two zombie down. So we really need to actually try and find her because she can't be missing. No, that's another zombie. As you can see down there, the, the purpley kind of rock is our obsidian. Uh, you can you can find that in levels or you can actually make it. Uh, either or really works pretty well. So when it comes time to it, because you can only mine that with a diamond pickaxe. So once we get diamond and everything, I can show you how to first of all make it and uh, what it's used for so I literally don't see it anywhere down here and there's a creeper and he's getting pretty mad I think he brought his brother with him so we're gonna skaboosh a way out uh, the lava is always good for a good light source uh, to remind yourself where you've been. Kill the, kill the creeper, kill the creeper. Oh, no way. We have to go all the way back down and try and get back to where we were to get that stuff. Come on, we can do it. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I didn't look at him, I didn't look at him. Didn't look at him. At least I hope I didn't look at him. <laughs> no, I think we'd be getting a tide right now if we did, so I think we're okay. Uh, okay, so it wasn't down here. Uh, I wonder where this creeper blows up. Whoa, okay. Skeletons are never good either. Uh, aha, there we go. There's all our stuff. <laughs> There's just been blue all over the place. So, I, I sincerely hope uh, Be uh, Janet's okay. Uh, she's maybe hopped back out. I haven't been down here in a while, so as I said, she was down here for a little bit, but completely lost her. She may be already outside, we'll never know. Uh, and as I said, I did see her down here. I honestly don't know where she could have went to. <clears throat> Let's go see if we can find her. Whoa, more skeletons. Now this is where you'll get the, you get the skeleton bone and if you put that in the crafting table, that's when you'll get your bone meal. Uh, so you can make your that insta grow the, the bone meal, but you can also apply that to uh, kind of like wools to make different dye and everything. So, and as you can see, I don't really want to leave this area because there is still quite a bit unexplored. Uh, but I'd rather just somewhere a bit safer where we can put our stuff because uh, nothing worse than doing a, a lot of work and <coughs> having to lose it all. Uh, so we're going to go back up here. No, we're not. <laughs> we're not going to go back up here by the look of it. Uh, Okay, I've gotten myself lost, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to end it here, 
we will find Janet in the next episode, that is a promise, and I will also uh, finish off the treehouse. So this has been Rocker S, I hope you've enjoyed, check out the other videos that's, uh, that's uh, uploaded just now, and uh, I'll see you in whatever I film next. Bye folks.